Welcome to this segment of In the Know Online. I'm Gina. Wilmington, North Carolina has always been a favorite spot for tourists. Today we're going to zoom our cameras in on a little known treasure called the CW Workhouse Bed and Breakfast. This bed and breakfast is steeped in history and overflowing with hospitality. Please join us as we take a minute and talk with innkeepers Doug and Martin Erickson and learn more about this jewel of North Carolina. More than enjoying our stay here in town. This has been one of the most hospitable, relaxing weekends that we've had in a long time. So we really appreciate you. <laughs> what is the most unique feature that sets your inn apart from the other bed and breakfasts here in Wilmington? I, I think it's the the Queen Anne architecture. You know, it's a, a very uh, highly photographed house in Wilmington. We get people that stop in front of it all the time, mm -hmm. just snapping photographs. Uh, the dual turrets on, on the house really set it out from some of the others. How many rooms do you have that you rent out? We have seven guest rooms, all of them private bathrooms, uh, some with clawfoot tubs, and one with actually a, a two-person whirlpool. Excellent. What are some of the local attractions guests might want to experience while they're staying here? Oh boy, there's quite a few. Uh, of course, you have the wonderful historic district, so there's a, a great walking tour, there's uh, history museums, there's private homes, well not private homes, but uh, museum homes that can be toured. There's the horse and carriage ride that takes you around the historic district, um, the battleship USS North Carolina, there's many, many more, and of course the beach. We are considered a beach town even though we have the riverfront, so we're between the beach and the river. And um, in the summertime, the beach is a big attraction. And how far would it take somebody staying here to get to the beaches? 10, 15 minutes uh, in either direction. We have uh, Riceville Beach and Carolina Beach. Both are about the same distance in opposite direction. Is there any time of the year that your inn is not open for guests? Oh no, we get people year-round. There's always something to do here in Wilmington. Uh, a little bit quieter in the in the winter and maybe not as many flowers blooming, but uh, still plenty to see and do. Wonderful. What types of breakfasts can your guests expect here? Oh boy, <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> uh, I, I personally make a uh, banana pecan upside down pancake. Uh, Margie has a few specialties of her own. I make an artichoke mushroom quiche and um, stuffed French toast, or we had this morning we had croissants a la orange, <laughs> which is a favorite. And uh, we always start with fresh fruit and muffins and juice, and uh, we have our own private blend coffee, and then the entree. Wonderful, and breakfast was wonderful both days. <laughs> and my last question is about you. What made you guys decide to become innkeepers? Margie talked me into it. <laughs> <laughs> it was a long time uh, idea of mine, um, and I kind of thought about it long term, like early retirement, and then when I met Doug, I did talk him into it. and. Uh, we decided to do it earlier than later. This is our second bed and breakfast. We started with a smaller bed and breakfast and bought the Worth House nine years ago and uh, love it. And how would somebody be able to get in touch with you should they wish to come and visit? Of course they can always knock on the door, but the <laughs> easiest thing probably our website www.worthhouse.com or by email at relax at worthhouse.com or our toll-free number, 800-340-8559. Well, that's all for today on In the Know Online. Don't forget to look at our website for other interesting articles and reviews. We will see you next time. Bye for now.